Now we have here, uh, Your Honor, is a case of pure bullshit. Yeah. I do this all the time. 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 Tonight, the ICP Network brings you a courtroom drama of unparalleled proportions. Forget Wapner. Who cares about Judy? This is a courtroom infused with the dark carnival and dripping with drama and debauchery. Your lawyers are the insane clown posse, Violent J, and Shaggy Two Dope. This is a cornucopia of a crime, crime and, and consequence, consequence, all overshadowed by the mighty wheel of the law. This is Juggalo, Juggalo Night, Night Court. Court. Please rise for the Honorable right, Judge Jumpsteady. The last time we did this, y'all were almost in contempt of court. And I do want to say, if that happens here tonight, you will be rolling on the wheel of bone along with the loser. Excuse me, is that a threat, Your that, Honor? That is a threat. Is that a threat? That's, that's a fact. I thought saying. this was about love, and you just starting off all Mr. Negativity. You know, in the courtroom, I know me and this man over here are bitter enemies, but I have to agree with him. I think you're out of line, and I think you're in contempt for us. The loser of this case will have to roll on the dreaded wheel of bone. There are 13 dire punishments of the other uh, 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 Where do we go wrong when love plummets into a skirmish? fight which snowballs into war love gone bad congo kong love gone bad this is what this case is about without question without speculation my client alexis is a poor helpless victim gonna be trial by an individual known as bean no more questions at this time your honor thank you what exactly is the core of the it's simple. My client, Alexis, assumed that she was in a loving, caring, eternal relationship built on trust and, and the bonds of love, only to have her heart shattered, put through a meat grinder, fried up and ate in a taco shell. My client, Alexis, is a victim of betrayal by way of cheating! Shaggy. You, you care to have an opening statement? Okay. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Judge, I'm a simple guy. I'm court appointed. I win cases. I don't give a fuck what you think I look like. Because I look good. We have a simple cut and dry case over here, my friend, Judge. What we have. Is a whore. <laughs> Was there something you didn't tell me about? So basically, this whore, known whore, is accusing this beautiful woman, Bean, of cheating on her in cold blood, when in fact, she is a petal flower of love. And this fucking whore over here represents basically dick smell. And I'm here to prove that, Judge. And Mr. Slick over there is gonna know that his client is stupid. stupid. All right. Alexis, if you, if you may, please take the stand. Baby oil. Johnson & Johnson. Good choice. Alexis, how long have you and Bean over here, the two-time and hooker, uh, speculation has it, strong speculation, very little doubt in that, but how long have you and this two-time and backstabbing cheap $4 and a blunt rap hooker been involved in a relationship. Two years. Jesus Christ, what is that? 29, 30, 40 months? When did this loving, harmonious relationship head south? And I'm not talking about heading south during intimacy. <laughs> when did things take a turn for the worse? Um, a couple of months ago, when she started working at this come and go. And what is the come and go? Uh, like a gas station, like liquor store. I would have thought, you were the come and go. You make her come and then she goes. And then she goes. That was my guess. So she got out of the house, so to speak, took a job, not her regular street walker job, but a job at 
the come and go, the ass station, the liquor store, and she started meeting new people, am I correct? Yeah, it turned out she was having an affair with her witness on his shifts, even after she got Speculation fired Speculation on her, uh, whatever the fuck it's called. You can't say that, what's that word? What am I looking for? Uh, objection. Overruled. What, did you even know what I was objecting to? Your intimate other half is fucking this ass clown right here? Right. Was this a one-time thing? Or were they humping, swapping spit, trading ejaculations all over each other's face? Were they serving each other bowls of sweat and nut, skeet? I can't be sure that How many times do you think that happened? Apparently, they've been bumping uglies for a couple months now. Mm. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you. I've been hanging out outside this gas station every day for the past four years. And I tell you what, the past two years, I've been seeing them two together faithfully until one day I went behind to the dumpster to give me a little, little hit in, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I seen that man right there had her legs higher in the air than Shaggy Two Dope trying to drop kick Fred Durst. Can you imagine what it looked like while she was being fed a hot beef injection? You may cross examine. So uh, you've been working at the gas station six months, correct? Already the math doesn't add up to me. You wanna tell me how many weeks there is in six months? I'll tell you. 13. Nope. 23. You tell me how 23 weeks fits in to six months. Exactly, she doesn't know. Your Honor, I have to ask you, is this giggle puss high? <laughs> Please refrain from any slanderous slurs in that nature. Okay. Good luck. You're claiming that Bean had a sexual relationship with Casper, Casper the Ginger. ginger, ginger, ginger. Uh, yeah. And this For, claim yes. is backed up by what? Crackhead? <laughs> that lives behind the fucking 7-Eleven you work at? The crackhead <laughs> said he saw those two fucking in the alley. Are you a dirty alley girl? Only with her? Okay. Apparently not. So not with him. You would no. not fuck him in the alley. Hell no. Ever. Her biggest factor here is relying on a crackhead who supposedly saw these two fucking in the alley while well, he was actively hitting the stem, pulling a fucking tote from the fucking old glass dick piece. Isn't that true, Cracky? They may not be crack kids. However, his head is in her crack all the time all in the that time. cola. Yes. Crack kid saying something he saw in an alley while actively smoking a hit of crack into his lungs. I don't think he said which that. Which are burnt out by meth, crack, and for some reason he smokes plastic bottle caps. I would never smoke meth. Bean, if you may, take the witness stand. There's a lot of factors in this case that we don't have to worry about no more because we know, in fact, what happened, don't we? Oh, yes. We know that this fucking guy over here loaded up some fucking bobo into his fucking antenna piece, supposedly enjoying watching you two have sex. To me, when there's a crack hidden in the, in the fucking stew, you know what I'm saying? If there's a piece of crack floating around in your delicious gumbo, you ain't fucking with that gumbo no more, are you? You ain't eating that gumbo because you want your teeth. You don't want crack mouth. No, 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 no. Matthew, you're a respectable fella, no? I'd like to think so. Right. What position do you work at Come and Go? Uh, well, I work at the register. Okay. What position did uh, Bean have there? This man asked her position at the stop and go, but I clearly already proved her position at the stop and go was doggy style, missionary, 69, reverse cowboy. Where'd you get the wig at? Don't worry about that. Was it expensive? Bean. You have a pussy. <laughs> You're not, the relevance, the relevance? Why do you say the, the prevalence? Please, I would like to know. What does he have that angelic prime piece of steak over there don't have? One thing! A big, long, glistening, veiny, Swinging, hanging, dangling, half stiff, chubby dick. Don't forget about the cock ring. What's his dick got to do with anything, Your Honor? Wait a second. What am I? What's going we on? Got our I own mean, dicks. a pulsating, nut spitting, 
mushroom cap, a purplish hue color, real deck. Oh, absolutely not. You've never had one. I have never even seen oh. one. You've never bobbed your face up and down on a four foot long stiffy. Not unless I'm at the Coney Island. Okay. And then my next question is, how long have you and Matt been engaging in sex? Never. Oh. Are you sure about that? Yes, he is my coworker. I don't know because um, your pussy smells like his dick. His dick smells like southern fried ham hocks and pickle juice. Out of our drawers. No further questions. Now well, it's cut and dry. We have a case of this broad lion. Easy as that. Her word versus her and a crackhead's word. And there's speculation in the air that she may perhaps be enjoying the crack with him. Crack kills, buddy. <sighs> Liar. I'm done. I just want to point out to the jury at home. My client Alexis has a witness. <clears throat> on crack or not. At this man's defense table, you've got somebody calling herself a witness when it's never been made clear anywhere what he was a witness of, which to me is obvious. He's a witness to her face bobbing in and out of his lap, to her naked pussy hole and nipples and anus. What else could he possibly be sitting next to her for right now in this courtroom? We don't know what he witnessed. Except her naked. He's witnessing this bullshit of a trial is what he's witnessing, Your Honor. Obviously, somebody hit a nerve. No further questions. The Juggalo jury will decide because the loser will have to spin on the wheel of bone. These punishments will live with you for the remainder of your days. And that's the heavy handed justice, the Juggalo justice that is administered here in Juggalo Night Court. We have a winner. The winner is Alexis and Violent J. You are victorious here at Juggalo Night Court. Only fate will decide what your punishment is here today. Round and round it goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. You don't want the honey chicken. No, you don't. You do not want the honey chicken. What is it? The, the throne, throne of, of bones. bones. The Wheel of Bone has spoken. Do you feel that you have been vindicated? <laughs> uh, I do and I don't, you know. Yeah, but I'm glad that I won the case. Glad that I was proven right by a court of my peers. How do you feel in the wake of this trial? I think this is bullshit. I'm innocent. She's a liar. And I, and love, I love her. her.